Um, I'm Helen Winston. I'm a senior at Millard South High School. Um, this is called Family Reunion. Uncle John rips off the cap of his beer bottle, tosses it onto the porch for his wife to pick up later, runs his tongue over the front of his remaining teeth. Some real, two gold before looking me up and down with the same eyes he always likes to remind me used to target the enemy in Vietnam. Uncle Jerry passes the overburden paper plate so John can try the fruit salad he couldn't fit on his own. The fruit salad is crap. They both know this. Jerry's just sharing it so both he and John can turn to my mother and say, Michelle, what's this sauce? Uncle John cracks open another cold one, slopes noisily, leans back even farther and asks me about how I feel how this country is moving. My mother pulls me aside before I have a chance to open my mouth says it isn't necessary for me to out myself as different, as queer, she says. Pack yourself into boxes and squeeze them into the closet. Make yourself into what they're comfortable with. My stepdad jokes that we're in Mormon territory. He says he wishes it were legal for him to have eight wives. I say, I wish it were legal for me to have just one. My aunt flinches. You want a wife? I nod and she pulls a face like she just choked on something. I realize that I've made myself harder to swallow, made myself into the elephant in the room, large and daunting and unrecognizable to them. Mom says, darling, don't you know that you're not welcome at this table without your mask? All we've been doing is playing a character. We all have roles to fill. You're still baby girl in the tutu, tripping over her own tongue because she hasn't learned to speak gracefully. Still, chewed nails and same t-shirts. We don't have room at this table, in this house, in this family for someone new. Oh, I'm tired of us swallowing our pride. It settles as a lump in my throat. I'm tired of being unwelcome in my own home, unsafe with my own family, uncomfortable in my own skin. They're going to have to learn to make room for me, to forget the little girl that smiled like she didn't know the badness in this world, the one they could pretend wasn't going to turn out this way, the one that could sit on a stool in the corner to be silenced. I am no longer one to make silent because this is my house too and they're gonna have to learn to live in it. Mom shrugs, turns from me, grabs a beer, slides down into another lawn chair. 